Hi and Assalamualaikum to IR and Dr. Iza. This is our video presentation for Assignment 3, Capacity Planning and Development. So, our group consists of five members, which are myself, Mama Akhil bin Nasaruddin. Next, uh, Mama Azri bin Mama Azib, Mama Afan bin Ishaq, Mama Idayat bin Zahari, and finally, Mama Arif Farhan bin Mama Zamil. So, firstly, we're going to start with introduction. The problem that the manager should look on is absenteeism. So what we know about absenteeism? What is absenteeism? So first, absenteeism is absent for work that goes beyond what would be deemed acceptable and customary owing to vacation, personal leave, or the rare illness. So uh, absenteeism has become a major problem to manufacturing industry because it's disturbed production line and cost. So employers and employees are equally impacted by workplace absenteeism. So uh, absenteeism is responsible for more than 50% loss of profit accounting for lost productivity and missed deadline. This is because uh, the company also need to get a replacement personnel and cover overtime pay for the replaced worker and poor moral cost. So next. So absenteeism uh, pattern also keep increasing throughout the year. So uh, this statement can be backed up by the statistic that according to a study in Canada, full-time worker miss about eight days of work due to health reason and two days due to other responsibility. This show an increasing trend from 1997, which only about seven days of worker miss their work. This uh, statistic also show that the employer is not fully aware of the full scope of this issue. While the majority of business business use a uh, discipline, disciplinary uh, measure to address the absenteeism issue, some are also utilizing incentive to lower absent. It shows that it's still not enough to solve this problem. So I'm gonna pass it to the next presenter. My name is Muhammad Asri bin Muhammad Azib, and my metric number is two zero one zero five four, and I will be presenting on the problem statement. So basically, Putra Production Company encountered a problem in production planning for bearing as the actual output is only 64 products, although it designed 80 products every day. So absenteeism is one of the factors that affecting the production planning. Absenteeism decreases the productivity levels of products, which reduce the possible revenue of a company. Besides, the quality of the products will also drop due to absenteeism. This problem will result in reducing the customer satisfaction. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Farhan. My matrix number is 200393. Now I will be presenting on the causes of absenteeism. So there are four causes which is bullying and harassment, burnout, stress and low morale, Next one is depression and finally is disengagement. <clears throat> so we will start with the bullying and harassment. Bullying in workplace defines the employees who are being bullied or harassed by co-workers or bosses. It creates an unconducive work environment where the victims in the workplace are unable to focus on their job effectively. So because of that, the workers decided not to come to the work. The next one is depression. Depression is one of the mental health disorders and also considered as a main contributor to increase the sickness absence rates among employees. So depression is quite famous. Also because of that, people tend to use drugs and alcohol to self-medicate their pain or anxiety. And because of this, it can progress to substance dependence and against the law of using drugs and alcohol. Next one is burnout, stress and low morale. Employees may avoid going to work due to heavy workloads, difficult meeting presentations, and sentiments of unappreciation. Due to this working environment, the worker decided not to come to the work because not being appreciated or maybe having a lot of work. Also, personal stress might contribute to the absenteeism. Personal stress uh, such as family matters or money matters. And the last one is disengagement. Employees who are dissatisfied with their employment, co-workers or the firm are more likely to miss work simply because they lack motivation to come in. Because of lack of motivation, the workers decided not to come to the work and contribute for the company. 
So that's all for my part. Now I will be passing the presentation to the next presenter, which is Afan, on the effect of absenteeism. Thank you. Hello, I am Afan and I will talk about the effect of the absenteeism. So the first of all, the effect of the absenteeism is it will slow down the production. This is because when the employees can attend to work, the production will slow down. The burden of works will fall to other workers, which is they don't, they don't always get their usual amount of work done while covering for someone else. As a result, the amount of work that gets done will be reduced. And the second, the effect of the absenteeism, it will lead to poor moral workers. This is because the frontline workers and supervisors can become frustrated when they must cover the duties of someone else. The employees can become stressed, causing moral to drop and less motivated to maximize their productivity. And the workers are growing more tired and stressed, and they will be more likely to take a sick day. And the third is safety concern. In terms of the safety, safety concern, the temporary workers having to pick up the slack for an absent workers creates a less safe workplace because those workers are not as well trained for those specific duties. The workers who are trying to replace the absent employee could become overworked. If they lose some of their focus or are trying to rush through something without following all safety protocols, accidents are more likely to happen. And lastly, the effect of the absenteeism is it will reduce the profit margins. This is because the absenteeism will increase costs and reduce profit margin unless revenues increases. For example, the organization are spending more money on overtime pay contract workers. So the direct costs will go up and profit margins are likely to shrink. Besides that, the absenteeism can decrease revenue if employees with specific roles are not present. Employees who sell services or build and deliver a product simply have less time to hit their goals when absent and potentially decreasing the revenue. So that's all for me. I will pass to the next presenter. Assalamualaikum. My name is Mohamed Divizari and my magic number is 200725. Okay, after describing the effect and cause of asceticism that happen in the workplace, there need to be a solution on how to combat the problem and elevate the cause. There are many ways to cure the absenteeism problem itself, but it also depends on the employers or employees of the company itself to play the impetual role in reducing the problem. For instance, uh, I have list five, which is absent management program, incentive, employee assistance program, the creation of positive, company culture, and flexible schedule. So, let's go to the first part. Absent management program. The goal of the absent management policy is to decrease the employee absence through corporate wide initiative and regulation. Absent from work can be expensive because they reduce both productivity and earnings. Absent due to illness and injury are unavoidable at any workplace. However, policies that prohibit excessive or unnecessary absence have financial advantage in addition to avoiding disruption in the office or overburdening co-workers who make up the missed time. A consistent policy should be able to account for illness and other unfavorable situations that can cause employees to miss work. Standard absent policy will often specify the step or an employee must take if they must miss work. Details like who should be informed, how and by when may be included in this. Employees should be aware of how absence data collect and analyze, as well as what will happen when they return to work after prolonged leave. Next, incentive. The company can offer incentive for employees that have good attendance policy. Good attendance can be encouraged and reward with incentive programs such as monetary bonus or recognition as reward. Reward motivate employees to abide by the seat leave and attendance rule and notify managers of impending absence so that necessary permission can be made. Next, Employee Assistance Program EAP. For employees struggling with a wide range of concerns, including drug and alcohol misuse, alcoholism, financial difficulty, legal issues, stress at work, personal issues, separation and loss, and family violence, EAP offer counseling, referral, assessment, and follow-up check. The program is typically made available to family members or employees who are experiencing mental or emotional difficulties. 
the administration of the program may be delegated to a third party service provider or handled internally by the employee. The fourth is the creation of positive company culture. Uh, employee assistance may be impact if workers lack motivation to show up for the work and interact with the co-workers since people are ultimately social beings. Occupational containment depend on a feeling of belonging. Positive workplace culture can be developed through the team building exercise, friend competition between department, volunteer outing. To reduce the employee essentialism, crucial also to create opportunity for workers to interact with one another and feel motivated by the team. The atmosphere of the office also significantly boosts moral. For example, research indicates that plants may improve the focus in the office, such as by planting a lavender can reduce tension and encourage the decision. Last but not least, is the flexible schedule must be implemented in the company. Current research indicates that greater level of productivity are correlated with working fewer hours. Employees' flexibility can be increased by allowing, by allowing them the choice to take a break, leave early in the afternoon or arrive later in the morning. This allows them to work when their productivity is the highest and take a break when it is not. Providing a remote alternative could also drastically lower employee elasticism. Employees who work from home can tend to seek children, do errands, or let the institution in without taking a full day off. Okay, that's all from me. We'll continue later. Finally, for the conclusion of this presentation, in conclusion, absenteeism does affect the production planning in a bad way. Some of the effects are slow down the production, poor moral workers, reduce safety in workplace and reduce profit margins. So to solve the absenteeism, the causes of it happen should be identified first by the company. Then the company will come out with the solutions to counter the causes of absenteeism. Therefore, by handling the absenteeism problem in the right way, it will increase the number of products per day. Then the company will capture back the lost revenues. That's all from us. Thank you.